Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Hey, welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday evening there at home. And meteorologist Brian Ramsey, I think I speak for all of us when I say I am sick and tired of this smoke. I can't breathe out there. The air filters are disgusting. This has got to stop, man. You know, I'm sick and tired of it, too, because yeah. like, I can't go running on my morning runs anymore because of this right. bad air quality. But guess what? Change what? is on the way. Oh. That smoke might be leaving us, and we might be getting some rain. So I have a live look right now. This is from Bernie. You can see uh, the sunset taking place out there. Sky starting to turn kind of that orange, but it is smoky, whether you're in Bernie or if you're in Chester or Chico or all the way in Weaverville, we are seeing smoke across our region right now and unfortunately it'll stick around with us over the next few days. The current temperatures right now sitting in the 80s across the valley, 80s also in the mountains and towards the coastal ranges. But by tonight, 10 o'clock, we're going to be cooling down into the 70s across the valley, 50s and 60s in the mountains. And then once we get into your morning hours, as you're waking up in the morning, you're going to wake up to some of those 50 degree temperatures, maybe a few 60s in the valley. So starting to get a little cooler in the North Valley, 40s in the mountains. And then as we get to lunch tomorrow, we're going to be in the 80s. 80s, 70s in the mountains, and then by tomorrow afternoon, warming up again into the 90s, but no triple digits for tomorrow. Now, we do have changes on the way. So, Hurricane Marie is currently spinning in the eastern Pacific. It is now a category three hurricane, so a very large hurricane uh, in uh, parts of the Pacific right now. Actually, I think that's correct. So it's actually been downgraded over the last hour. So I, uh, no, no, I'm wrong. I thought I read a one, but it's actually a three. So it's a category three hurricane right now, but it will begin to weaken over the next few days as it begins to move northwest, and then it's going to take a turn north. And when it takes a turn north, we're going to have some big changes on the way. So here's Marie traveling north. So this is Sunday, going on Monday, then going on Tuesday. Right now we got that huge ridge of high pressure sitting over us right now, but then Marie is going to begin to uh, stream some moisture into this low pressure system which is going to be making landfall. This is going to be on Thursday when it's off the coast. But once we get to Friday, that low pressure system is going to begin to make landfall. You see this green right here, that's a cold front. And Marie is going to meet that cold front. So it's that that moisture is just going to get streamed right up that cold front into northern California and that's why we're going to have a good rain chance on Friday going into Saturday. So we could see some early October rain uh, with this system and maybe even uh, a few flakes of snow at some of our highest elevations. So it's definitely something I'm watching. So I want to show you two computer Computer models right now, two of our very reliable long term uh, weather models. Number one, this is the GFS, the American model. This is what the National Weather Service puts out, and it's putting off a lot of rain, especially uh, on Sunday, maybe even some more on Monday. So, this is something I'm watching. The other reliable models, so that, that put out a ridiculous amount, something I don't think will happen. This model, another reliable model, is the European model. This seems a little more realistic for what we actually could see, so maybe a quarter inch in the valley and then up to an inch in some of the mountain regions. That would be nice to see. Uh, uh, now, if it comes all down at once in the mountains, you know, get two or three inches, really, that could cause some uh, flash flooding issues, maybe even some debris flows uh, in some of the burn scars. But if it comes down slowly, that is going to be good news for everybody. Tomorrow, those National Taco Day, so enjoy it while you can. 93 degrees for that high tomorrow. Staying sunny, still pretty smoky tomorrow as well. As for your seven-day forecast in Chico, the exciting forecast you all want to look at, 90s and hazy the next few days with smoke, but then we cool down into the 70s by Thursday and the chance of rain on Friday and Saturday. As for Reading, a high of 94 for tomorrow, and then we are cooling into the 80s on Wednesday, and then by Thursday, we're at 77 degrees. And look at Saturday. Oh, my gosh, a high of 69 degrees, oh rain on Friday and Saturday. So it's pretty fantastic uh, that we have that in the forecast. All right, but you're banking on the Euro model there. They're a little bit lighter on the rain totals. Yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, five, six inches is realistic in Octo uh, early October. You wouldn't think. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, we sure do need it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brian, for that forecast. Mm -hmm. We're coming right back with a look inside of a local movie theater.